Welcome to the Chiricahua Mountains in southeast Arizona. It's peak fall migration right now, and Camera Lady and I are hoping to find some trogons before they migrate south, along with a variety of warblers and other migrating birds. But so far, all we've managed to find are a bunch of acorn woodpeckers, robins, squirrels, and an adorable lone green-tailed towhee. We did come out in the evening time and I feel like the morning will probably be better for this. So we're gonna go set up camp, have some dinner, enjoy the full moon rise, and then pick it up first thing in the morning for sunrise and hopefully have some better luck. acorn woodpecker <laughs> what's up guys welcome to apparently an acorn woodpecker episode because that's all we've seen it's like seven o'clock in the morning or something we're in a canyon it's dark i'm very glad i have an f4 we're gonna go see what we see hopefully we're gonna try to find some warblers and i'm also looking for an arizona woodpecker and i just i don't have any confidence in trogons right now so I think what we're going to do, the hardest part about this area is that it's really dense, it's not photogenic, it's very difficult to photograph, and it forces you to be the type of bird photographer that I don't want to be, and that's like, you have to chase it. I think what's wrong with a lot of people's bird photography in terms of like not getting the images that you want, is that like when you're forced to chase a bird, you know, and or, or hike in a trail like this and you can't stop and get out the camo and get out the ghillie suits and get out the blinds i'm not going to do any of that because this is a very popular trail and there's just no point but i do want to see if i can just get lucky and hike just a little bit in here and check things out and if not then we're going to go down to the science station the ranger station down here where they have feeders uh, and hopefully check out to see if we can get some blue-throated mountain gem and some different types of hummingbirds and we're just gonna sit there and be patient. <laughs> so let's get on the trail. I hear somebody coming already. Let's go ahead and get on the trail and see if we find anything. kinglets so we've been walking for probably almost an hour we did see a lot of warblers i got painted red start which i wasn't uh, expecting and i'm very excited about that and then townsend's and then wilson's potentially orange crowned so we have seen some warblers sun's starting to come up we got interrupted by some hikers that flushed a bunch of the warblers that we were staking out though. And that's, you know, that's the hard part about being on a trail like this. So I think what we're gonna do is gonna go head back to the car and then drive down to the little ranger station there and go sit out and see. I have seen some hummingbirds like in the wild around here. So hopefully we can maybe get some rufous, some broad build, uh, blue throated mountain gem, those are the ones I'm looking for right now. And then maybe we'll catch some warblers on the way back, but 
This is difficult <laughs> and highly frustrating. So let's go ahead back to the car. creeper six feet away from me right there in this tree so um, I'm really frustrated and this video might not be oh it's definitely not what I hoped I'm gonna give you some tips <laughs> to deal with frustration the first is forest photography is ridiculous it, forest birding is ridiculous manage your expectations the likelihood of you getting like portrait style amazing especially little songbird type footage or photos or whatever is extremely small so manage that i hear stuff around me everywhere and that's the second tip is learn your bird calls and i would suggest this learn the most common things that like look up ebird look up in the area like i can hear a ruby crown kinglet right now i can hear acorn woodpeckers i can hear mexican jays those are all very common species and I would like to photograph them maybe if I get really good composition, light, all that stuff. But otherwise, like don't spend your time chasing every call that you hear because it's alive and it's flapping and it's making noise. Like if you know that like I'm out here looking for warblers, I'm out here looking for Arizona woodpecker. I'm going to go to those target species. I'm going to learn their calls so that I can recognize them. But m more importantly, I'm going to learn the calls that are the native stuff, that are the common stuff. That way, if I hear something that's not them, I can, you know, instantly, let's go stick that out because I don't know what that is. There's a towhee right there. Green, green-tailed towhee. <laughs> All right, we're going to keep going. The sun's coming up now. We might start getting some good light. There's some activity picking up now, so let's keep going. We're almost back to the car, and it's tea time, it's snack time, it's something time. <laughs> just missed him so hummingbirds are also quite frustrating so we're at the research center now and they've got all these hummingbird feeders set up a couple of tips with hummingbirds um, I don't typically like to photograph them on the feeders of course you want it to look a little more natural so what I do is I pre focus on the feeders and then just move a little away from it and I kind of wait until they jump off or are hovering around it or whatever and then i try to freeze them like that okay well i'm gonna sit here for a little bit and i'm gonna try to get a couple of hummingbird shots and we'll see how that goes <laughs> but i think i'm just gonna wrap it up here because this trip kind of was a bust um i just didn't put in the effort that i needed to and i didn't get here soon enough especially for the trogons and the other things i have got some good warblers and now that the sun's out we have some chance to get some more warblers around here so i'm pretty excited about the warblers uh, and hopefully i'll get at least one or two decent hummingbird shots the other problem is i only have one battery life one battery bar left on here and i forgot my battery charger of course but i'm gonna wrap it up here uh hopefully i got enough footage to make this something interesting and hopefully i gave you a couple of few tips to help you for forest photography but the biggest one really is managing your expectations you know it's just when you go in there thinking that you're going to get like these ridiculous portraits and stuff like that from people who sit in blinds and camo and like you know have like around feeders or whatever like you're just not going to get those type of shots in the forest or it's very rare you know you might luck out but everything i've got so far has just been uh, very challenging. I'm happy to be out here though, like it's just nice to be out here, but just, you know, manage your expectations, keep your hand on that exposure compensation. There's a warbler right there. So Five feet in front of me. 
this Wilson's warbler, yellow warbler, right there. And there it goes. And there it is. There's a Wilson's. Very cool. All right, I'm gonna get back to birding. Thanks for sticking around if you stuck around this far. I really appreciate it. Hit that like button if you enjoyed it. If you got anything out of it, it definitely helps the channel. And I will see you out there in the next one. Thank you.